So start believing in your potential. If you want to do something, opt for it. Sharpen the talents that you have and polish the things that you're weak in because no one's perfect. It's practice, perseverance, and consistency that makes a person a better human and a better version of who you were yesterday. Talking about myself, I am Subek Shah Kharka, former Miss Nepal uh, International 2012. I'm a media personality myself. It's been seven years that I've worked in the television field. And uh, yes, uh, I'm running my own business right now. Someone who has a never-ending dream like all of you. Kalingpong is a second home to me because my mom was born and brought up here. She studied here. So I've had a lot of amazing, beautiful memories here in the country, uh, in Kalingpong space. And whenever I come here, I always go back home with this positive energy because this place is small, yet it has made the most out of whatever it has. Um, be it uh, the infrastructure, be it the schools and universities that are residing here in Kalingpong itself. And walking the streets, I meet so many um, very humble and humorous and fun-loving people who is always there welcoming you with a wonderful smile. So these are the things that I go back uh, home with whenever I leave Kalingpong. And this time, this event, Youth and Truth, has invited me here to interact with you all, the young generation of Kalingpong. And I'm so privileged, it's an honor to be here right now, standing with such eminent speakers, professors, teachers, and everyone. <clears throat> to students, most importantly, uh, what I would like to say is, I started my journey at a very tender age of 17. And we live in a society where we're always said that we're always there trying to impress others. But to all the girls and boys out here, I would like to tell you all, what do you like? Have you ever thought about it? We're always worried how to impress our friend how to impress our girlfriends or boyfriends. But have we ever thought, what do I really like? What do I want to do? What do I want to um, give to my society or as an individual? So this is one question I would like everyone to ask yourself. What I'm really good at as an individual because we hardly think about ourselves, but always contemplating on what others are going to think about us. And when it comes to this particular thought process, social media, everybody has Facebook and Instagram? I am sure everybody does. And we are so hooked to it that more than trying to impress ourselves, because we should never forget that we are our own competition, right? Healthy competition is very But we should be competitive within ourselves. Because it's one life that we get. It's one moment that we live. Live it up to the fullest. When I was your age, I was this very shy, not so confident, always behind a lot of group of people. When people, uh, when students, uh, when teachers used to ask questions, I was someone who was always hesitant to answer. One fine day, one of my teacher, uh, she told me to participate in this tourism Olympiad that happened every year where hundreds of schools participated. And I was one of those uh, students who never really participated in any kind of curriculums. But that was an opportunity that kind of made me realize that I had something to do. And I, from that particular journey, I always loved stage. I'll share a very short story, and then I'll end uh, my speech as well. So I, was, I went to uh, the competition, 
I gave my speech. I, I had to speak about tourism and how we can develop uh, tourism in the country as a youth. I had practiced, like I had mugged everything that I was supposed to say. I went on the stage, I said everything that the teacher told me to do, and then the time came when the winners were announced. Since I had participated, I thought maybe third the Hunsa Olanta, then I had a little hope. Then the MC started announcing the winners, like third. There was some other college that was announced. Then I was like, second, I'm never gonna be placed second because that was the first time I ever stood in front of the stage. Second, there was another college name that was announced. First, I, I didn't even think of it. And at that particular moment, dear students, a student who was less confident, who was not believing in her own potential, my college name was announced as the first in that particular Tourism Olympia 2011. And from that moment, I realized we are always trying to be in a very comfortable situation. We always easily say no to things, but have we ever pushed our limits? From that particular moment, I realized we should always put ourselves on an edge. Always challenge yourself. Since that Olympiad, I got a gold medal. It's, it's been a journey that I've put forward on stage. And from that journey until now, I've always been on stage, I've loved stage, I've loved this um, microphone, and this is what helps me um, live my life, my survival way. And that's how I realized my potential. So what I would like to tell you all is, sometimes we don't realize, so we always think of different ways, but sometimes putting ourselves on an edge, when someone's pushing you, that's when you realize your potential. In the beginning, I said, we don't believe in ourselves. Come on, if you don't believe in yourself, how is everyone around you going to believe in you, right? So start believing in your potential. If you want to do something, opt for it. If you think you're good at singing, if, you, if you're good at dancing, start taking classes. Sharpen the talents that you have and polish the things that you're weak in. Because no one's perfect. It's practice, perseverance, and consistency that makes a person a better human and a better version of who you were yesterday. So this journey of uh, grade 11 and 12, you're nurtured by your teacher. You're taken care of. Every small thing is looked at, right? So as soon as you move out of this college, out of these boundaries, what's going to happen? You're going to face the real world. So when a teacher asks you a question in your school, in your class, make sure that you answer. Give a wrong answer. It's always good to make mistakes. Don't, hes don't hesitate. Make as many mistakes here, inside. Because once you move outside of this place, comfort zone, you'll be challenged by the world. It's not just Kalingpong, but India. And overall, the whole world will be your competition. So do whatever you want to do because opportunities just knocks once. So grab that opportunity. I saw these amazing dancers and singers on stage. They reminded me of our school days. My school day, I also went to an all-girls school. So they took a chance and they will remember this particular moment throughout their life. So go for it. Like, don't wait for tomorrow or don't wait for the time when you will be perfect. Because this is the moment we're going to live and this is going to be a remarkable one for all of you. So take chances, make the most out of the opportunities that you're given. And as girls, 
I think over the time we've had the privileges and uh, we're getting the best of the best educations. Our, uh, our uh, male friends who are there, because you have to don't stereotype thinking, the world has become a much easier place, but yet, if we change our mindset, if we, think, if we change the way we think, and take everything as it comes, then it's going to be a very easy and a beautiful journey for you all. Because it's all the mind that makes it difficult. Right? So don't underestimate the being that you are. Because everybody in this world is here with a mission, with a vision. You guys are the change maker. And as I see, Kalangpong is a beautiful hub of opportunities. It's yet to be developed, right? So I think if you want to pursue your study, go abroad. Danus, Danu Partha. Because there's a bigger world, a bigger picture outside. But remember your roots. Come back in the country, come back to your place, and do something for your country, for your people. And that's going to change the um, living, that's going to change uh, or make a mark to your younger generation as well. Social entrepreneurship doing something in an entrepreneurial field, at the same time contributing to the society. So try to be a social entrepreneur of your country, of your place, Kalingpong, and I hope that this generation who is giving their best, who is getting the best of the best education here, will bring about a change because we are the change makers. We are the change that we talk about every single time. We always blame others, but have we ever realized that what can I do to make a difference? So be the change maker, do what you want to, but do it with full passion, with commitment, consistency. If you do something with a lot of effort, one day or the other, you will surely see a difference. So let's make a difference because we are the change makers. So one last time, uh, thank you so much everyone uh, for having me here. It's been a wonderful time here listening to the speakers. I came here just for this particular event and uh, today itself I'll be leaving to Siliguri uh, tonight. Uh, so I hope to see you all soon and lastly let's say this together. I feel good. I feel great. I feel better and better. Can we do that one more time? Loudly, all right? I feel good. I feel great. I feel better and better. Say this to yourself every single day because we human beings we are grown in the same environment we have the same potential we have the same um, facilities it's just how you make most of it that will make a difference that will bring about a change so remind yourself that you are enough all right so let's give it up one more time everybody and wish you all the best from my end and thank you so much one more time. Uh, you guys are being taught by such a wonderful uh, principal ma'am, the leader of the school, uh, and she's such an inspiration to all of you. So yeah, thank you so much ma'am for having me here. It's been a wonderful time here. Thanks a lot. Have a great evening everybody.